as you all know, no player on the Chicago Bulls made the All-Star game. Can somebody still get in? We don't know. And then we got to talk about the effect of the NBA's 65-game threshold on NBA players, just so we can hear C-Dub's thoughts and get my thoughts. We're going to talk about it, break it down, but you know. You got to hear the music first. Come on, yeah. Gang. Shabbos podcast with the Cognac boys. I'm Cognac boy Bobby, and I'm with my dog C Dub. How you doing, boy? Well, I'm feeling great. It's Friday. Ain't no game today. We chilling. What's the word, man? Y'all already know. But hey, make sure you're tuned in. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get into it. C Dub, no Chicago Bulls player made the all-star team this season. Even last year, no Zach Levine. We still had DeMar DeRozan pop up in the all-star game, even in a down year for the Chicago Bulls. No Bulls players this year, though, my guy. How you feeling about that, first and foremost? Um, Duh, no shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> DeMar has played... Uh, Lesser than he's been playing the last couple of years. Zach Levine, he hasn't played enough, and he's not played up the bar. Kobe White is the only guy that can possibly, you can even make a, a slight argument, which would get smacked down right away. He's been great, but he has not been good enough to be an all-star this year. Now, I ain't trying to tie down or be negative. We just got to be honest with ourselves. We do not deserve an all-star in the all-star game. Simple. I'm with you on that, man. I think it's just a, a one of those conversations that just lead to it is what it is. Like, you can't start your season off 5 and 14. Yeah, you gained some steam in December, but it's too late by then. <laughs> it's too late by then. Now, if you started the season off well and then slipped, you know what I'm saying? Maybe in December going into January, maybe you get some more love. But you started the season off horrible. You were five and fourteen at one point. Yeah, five and fourteen. Kudos to you for fighting all this way. Yeah, but like nobody's really gonna show the recognition or show love to the Chicago Bulls just because they bounced back at the end of December. Well, in December and in January, it just mm -hmm. don't work like that. And yeah, you had some performances that was put out there and where you've seen some consistency out of Kobe White. But the point is, is that when you start off 5-14, and 14, it was so detrimental to what the Bulls wanted to do that you can't really put nobody in the All-Star game. That's yeah. just how it is. Yeah, and, and when you talk about Kobe White, he's been terrific for the last couple months. But what about those players who's been terrific the whole entire first half of the season? Right. You know what I'm saying? October and November. They've been terrific throughout. Now, exactly. that's not to say uh, it might be an alternate. You know, you got some injuries in there. It is a slight, a very slight chance. The only person on the Bulls roster that can even have a slight chance is Kobe White to uh, replace a player that's been injured. But I don't even think that's possible. So. All-star game, you know, that's a little credential that some players uh, like to play for, and they put that on their board, one of their goals. But I don't think it's that important right now. I don't think that's none of our goals. Our goal is to continue to play better and find ways to get over 500, find ways to be more consistent in winning basketball because this last month has been kind of mediocre, kind of mid this last month. It's better than the first couple months, but it's been mediocre. So we got other fish to fry, but trying to look for an all-star game. Go take a vacation. All the Chicago Bulls players, go take a vacation. Come back and get your ass ready for the second half of the season. I'm with you on that. I mean, me personally, I think that DeMar got into the all-star game just off respect last season. That's just me. I can't argue that. That's just me, though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not going to ever say he didn't deserve it, but I think that they just gave it to him based off respect. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the Bulls last season didn't start off the season that well either. So yeah. I feel like, yeah, the numbers that he was putting up was pretty damn good, but it didn't lead to wins to where your team is elevating. This season is pretty much the same thing, hence why you see, like, yeah, the respect went out the window for this particular season, and I'm with you. The only person that can really, really creep in, if we keep it in a buck, as the most consistent Bulls player, and at one point it was Alex Caruso, but if you take in totality for what it really is, Kobe White has been the, has been the best Bulls player all season long. That's a fact. If you take everything into account, not saying he is the best player on the team. Relax, guys. But mm -hmm. he has been the best player this season and has been the most consistent. We don't know what we're going to get out of Nikola Vucevic. DeMar DeRozan, yeah, he's been all right. But, mm -hmm. you know, it ain't, it, he's not having the same effect that he's had in the past. Zach Levine has been MIA. Yes. So who else is really count on? Mm -hmm. So Kobe White, if he can creep in with the injuries of Joel Embiid, maybe a little injury to uh, Halliburton and maybe some few other players because that's what it come out. Do you think Kobe White can creep in? Mm -hmm. if, if, if they don't select somebody else. Yeah, no, no. I'm just gonna, I'm just be honest. No, no. He, he, he just and I'm. That's not me saying that he trash or he garbage or just being no. supremely effort. But it's other people that's been playing terrific for the whole entirety of the first half of the season, bro. He just started taking off, bro. From from uh, what is that? December, bro. We gotta be, you know, take baby steps, bro. Next year. We can argue about this shit. If he continue in this progression, we can argue about this shit next year. But let's be honest with ourselves. Let's not be like these crazy ass people out here that got their best play on their team. They sitting there under 500 like, why well, we ain't got nobody in there. Because you don't. You don't. It's other people playing better. I now, tell you what, see, Doug, yeah, who yeah. creeps in before Kobe White is Trey Young. I don't know yeah. how this guy does not. What the fuck? Y'all man, because he <laughs> keep cooking the Knicks. Yeah, <laughs> I know I'm a Bulls fan, but at the same time, I gotta keep it above. Y'all yeah. mad because Trey Young keep cooking the Knicks in the playoffs, bro? Yeah, he averaging twenty six and ten. C dub. You know what? I think they being petty, nephew. I think they don't like Trey Young. I think the league in totality don't like because Trey he Young because he's small, the Knicks, bro. I think because he's small and his defense is just. He, you gotta hide him on defense and Fair. Other stuff like that. Like, I think that's what bro, it he is. got to the Eastern Conference Finals before Joel Embiid, who's their MVP. He beat Joel. He beat him and took a bow in Madison Square Garden. Come on, <laughs> y'all gonna keep discounting? I don't like his hair, but I ain't gonna <laughs> never say he a bad player. He not. You can't. That's preposterous who would say that <laughs> i don't know how he can't keep get i don't know how he doesn't get in in the, in, in, in the all-star game it's the second game the second year in a row nephew that's crazy it's crazy ain't it yeah lord yeah. lord so i say so is it fair to say before we move on that kobe white has a chance but slight Trey Young is going to slide in before, at least he's going to be one of the players that slide in before Kobe White. Yeah, yeah, he definitely got some people. He's sitting in the back of the line. You got Trey Young, you got Miles Turner, you got a couple, you got uh, Siakam, you got a lot of players in front of you, bro, like. It's cool. Man, I'm not. I sound kind of crazy. I'm listening to myself because I love Kobe and his progression. How better he, how much better a basketball player he's gotten these last couple months. But I just got to keep it a buck. That's what we do here. Keep it a buck. Not this year. Not this year. See you next year, Kobe White. Let's get it yeah. going. Let's at least get in the conversation for most improved player. Yes. Now and then you will oh. earn your respect. Yes. You will earn your respect, and then the, the, the magnifying glass will be on you. Hopefully, some changes are made within the organization, and you can really shine. That's how I'm looking at it. No, oh, bro, and then we're going to have to talk about that most improved player because I think he can win it for sure. I don't think he Oh, I agree with you. Nah, not just being a run. And I oh, think no, 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 it. no. I agree with you, but that's another episode. Yeah, that's another episode for sure. I agree See? with you, though. 
because ooh, just look at the numbers, it's crazy. For but see, duh. Now we got all of the the all star talk out of the way and things like that. The NBA implemented this offseason a 65 game threshold that you must play to be considered for MVP, defensive player of the year, six man of the year, most improved player. Every award you can think of, bro. Yeah. Me personally, I'm all for it. Mm-hmm. If any of y'all missed it, y'all can go view it and watch it on NBA Central. That's why I gave a take on Joel B to where C-Dub, I said this. Joel Embiid has been the MVP this season. Yes. He's not going to get it because he did not play the 65 games. Mm-hmm. Don't be mad at us. Be mad at your contemporaries. Mm. The Ben Simmons of the world. Mm. The Kyrie Irvins of the world. Mm. The Tim Duncans, the Manu Ginobili's, the Tony Parkers of the world. Mm. The guys that bullshitted around. The James Harden that wore fat suits and bullshitted Mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. When it was time to get money and put on for the game. See, Dub, we seen moments to where kids from Australia showed up to a game and their favorite player wasn't playing in whatever city it was just because. Wasn't because of injury. It was just because. The rest. Blame your contemporaries if you're Joel Embiid. If you're Tyrese Halliburton who's coming up and supposed to be all NBA and you're going to miss it because you can't play 65 games. Blame your contemporaries. C-Dub, what do you say? Um... I'm glad you said that about the Australians. That's a good that's a that's a good point right there. Uh some kids coming all the way across the fucking world and you not even going to play because you tired. Listen. Your job is to go out there and entertain the fans and also be competitive and, and trying to win every game that you can. Like my nephew said, you can blame your contemporaries. You can blame uh Kawhi Leonard uh even though he say he injured. Add on another name. You can't even though you say injured. It was sometimes it was just rest. They trying to hope that he don't get injured the next day, the next game. Like they can control the narrative uh, or their God. They can say, well, uh, he could get injured this game. So we're going to sit him out so he won't get injured. You don't know when, it, when the injury is going to happen. All I can say is stop crying. It's your job. What job um, could you miss? I'll say that's 20% of, 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 of your your work days, fifteen games. What is that? Fit, what was it? Seventeen games out of uh, eight, uh, eighty-two you missed to make it set, uh, sixty-five. What job can you miss twenty percent of days, and you get awarded uh, at the end? Millions of, the year? of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what job can you do? Well, you can't do it, bro. Stop crying. It's your job. It's your fault that they put this rule in place. Y'all tried to take advantage of it. You got players that played before you that played 82 games on a consistent basis. Now, you're supposed to be. Now, this is the crazy thing, nephew. We was talking about this earlier. I heard a lot about these players saying that, man, just because of the rules, man, we spend extra money and extra time on our health and our body. What the hell took you so long? You are a professional basketball player, bro. It takes for a rule to be in place for you can go out and do your job every single day and um, entertain the fans that really pay your, your salary, bro. You're really cutting them short It's petty. Is bullshit, and when people pay money for their tickets, everybody's not rich in this world. I know y'all all rich, you basketball playing motherfuckers, y'all millionaires. But everybody ain't rich, gang. Everybody might scrap up a couple of dollars for one game to see LeBron James or Kawhi Leonard one game. And guess what? He ain't he ain't playing. He ain't cause he ain't got a twisted ankle. It ain't cause his his finger hurt. He ain't got a headache. It's just cause he don't want to play. He want to rest. That's bullshit. You should be sued. Oh, bro, the, the, that's what the fans should be re- refunded, and that's yes. what I'm saying. We most of us work five days a week. If we called off two days every week, bro, and only work sixty percent of the time, we fired, fired, Not fired, fired, <laughs> bro, what? fired. 
if I call off twice next week, the week after that, the week after that, and the week after that, a month straight, fine. Bro, what? You fine. Just for the simple fact, because I don't want to be there? No. The I'm job tired. still, and I'm in logistics. The job still matters. The production still matters. Our customers, our clients, they don't want to get, they don't give a fuck about who called out. No. They care about where's their product going and where is it storaged and who is it getting shipped out to? Mm-hmm. Did you ship it out the right way? So mm. that's the whole thing. And who the customers? Who the customers now? Exactly. Who is that? Exactly. That's us. That's the fans. That's mm-hmm. us. Like, don't get me wrong, C Dub. I went to a Chicago Bulls game in the game. They lost horribly. I paid three hundred dollars for me and my son. Now think how pissed you will be off. Did all the players play, nephew? Uh, everybody played. I would say now, that. Now think how pissed you will be off, be play. Uh, you will be if Zach, Kobe, and Demar set out. How I would have been off. blue. Blue as hell, bro. Y'all Three think I want to come watch Terry Taylor? <laughs> Y'all think I came to watch Adama Sanogu? Y'all think I came to watch Orlop Bentham? No, I I watch them on TV, but when oh, I bro. spend my money, I want to see the best. Yeah, Demar, bro. Zach, Vooch, Kobe, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and because most of us check the the injury reports before we go. Yes. They healthy. You get that. They talking about, no, nah, they ain't playing no more. What? Give Press. me my money back. Give me, me <laughs> my money back, bro, for sure, bro. So I think I, I think the 65-game threshold is fair. Fair. Bro, the, my last point, C-Dub, and you can take it away. My last point is the expectations back then was to play, play 82 bro. games. Why the fuck are we celebrating people playing 82 games now if that was the expectations back then bro bro it's sad bro go it's ahead sad. and i just a small point and all these players you see on the summertime they playing summer tournaments back to back and and they go over in new york and then they go to the crossover and shit and that's for free why y'all can't show up for people who paying the come big money and hard earned money to, to uh to come watch y'all play, bro? They excited to see y'all. They they love the game of basketball. Some don't, you know what I'm saying? But most love the game of basketball. They they idolize y'all, and then that one game they come. I'm tired. I rest. I re- I can't play today. I can't do it. And sit your ass over there with some ugly ass fashion over shit and watch the game. Now the fans get to watch you on the bench, watch the scrubs play basketball. Kiki and ha ha and jumping up and down. We thought your knee was hurt, bro. I thought your knee was hurt, bro. That's crazy, bro. They can stop it. But this don't happen in football, bro. Can you That's miss? That's why like we it? love football. <laughs> you can't do this in football. No, you can't do this shit in football, bro. Come on, man. And I think if you love basketball, you want to play every time you can. Every time you can. If you really a hooper, I don't want to hear my body, man. My that's, body, why man. I, that's why regardless of what we say about these players, you love Steph Curry, you love Kevin Durant, you love yep. LeBron James. They yep. show up regardless. That's a fact. That's a fact right there. I got to give them nods. You know, it was a no, little... It, all yeah, about that, LeBron. No, no matter what your preference is, you love those guys for showing up. Oh, bro, because KD that, gonna show up. Yeah, he gonna show up and hoop, bro. He even no tried. No matter how that, you feel about him, he gonna show up. Remember that finals? He damn near had a uh when he got injured in Toronto with that. Yeah, uh, he was hooping. That Achilles. He hooped, and they told him not to. Everybody told he, him. They not told to him hoop. not to hoop. He said, "I feel good. I'm hooping. I'm hooping, bro. That's a hooper, bro. So." It's crazy. That's on them. It's y'all fault. It's y'all fault. <laughs> he said it's y'all fault. But hey, y'all heard our rant. Y'all make sure y'all chime in on that down below. C Dub, you got anything left before we go? No, bro. Y'all start crying like be naive. Play ball. For sure. Let us know what you think about both topic, both topics discussed today. Make sure you chime in. If you want to be a part of the mailbag episode, call in 773-242. 
9219. This is another episode of Shabu's Podcast. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're going to catch y'all on the next one for sure. Come on, yeah. Gang.